Driving Ivan here at Guitar Broker, just outside of the beach area of Fort Lauderdale. And it's my type of place. There's so many old cool guitars and even old cars. And not just that, but look at that. There's an Abart up there on the wall. And uh, just Google Drive and Ivan and Abart. You can see the Abart Fiat that I've reviewed and the Scorpion that was at uh, Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix Racing, the Lion Green Scorpion SS, which is an amazing Abart car. And uh, look at all these P bases. This guy's got a clientele that you would definitely know of. He's got pictures hanging up with uh, very cool uh, rock stars that I'm, I'm quite into. And it's just a great vibe. And he's got amazing, you know, old Adamus, Adamus ovations and crazy guitars like this uh, Hagstrom, this Swedish guitar that I'm looking at. Voxes everywhere, you know. You remember Tom Petty's playing, playing, yeah, this old Gretsch, Guilds, just amazing. And look at the Rickenbackers up front, just amazing. But let's get back to the uh, cars, shall we? Anyway, here's here's the wall of fame up here. You might recognize some of these faces up here. Um, this guy's been lucky enough to deal with some pretty recognizable people. I won't say their names, but you can just look. Um... But anyway, very cool. He's even got a uh, Japanese-made John Lennon guitar copy. And this rare bird, wow, a Rickenbacker F. And uh, man, just, just really cool stuff. But let's talk about the cars, shall we? 1973 Camaro. And uh, it's, 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 like, it's like a Yanko, but it's Motion Performance who did the same sort of thing and just made drag cars out of them at the dealership. And uh, colors, I would say striking, 454. Look at that, motion. Roll cage, of course. And it's a period, looks to be period correct, you know. Definitely welded in there. And uh, it's uh, not quite a Hurst looking shifter, but um, pretty cool looking anyway. Looks like a wood steering wheel. All right, on to this, uh, let's see, 69. Shelby, that's right. It's the GT350. And a cool story about the GT350 is um, Electra Records, Paul Rothschild, got Jim Morrison one of these. It was a blue. You can see him driving it on YouTube somewhere. They gave Jim Morrison this car when, it, uh, when the Doors album sold a million copies. And uh, he promptly wrecked it and left it on the side of the road of the Sunset Strip. And there's much rumor and conjecture as to where that car is now. But uh, yeah, it's probably it separated. But this one is a low mileage yeah, original. original that uh, the owner of this place got from a friend. And uh, it's uh, extreme. 50 years, 50 years, one owner. So it's extremely original. Very low. How many miles again? 24,000 miles. Look at that. Shelby. Yes, sir. So um, just amazing car and amazing guitars. So if you're in the area and you want a cool guitar or car he's sold some really cool cars he's actually a euro car guy like i am but you know he knows a good thing when he sees it so he's got these nice ones as well he's had definitely a cool collection he showed me even a renault uh turbo renault r5 turbo which you can see elsewhere just google drive and ivan renault r5 turbo and you'll find it google drive and ivan in any car including lancia delta integrale camaro ss uh, my Shelby Dakota pickup truck. Um, check it all out. Or just the Mustang GT, if you like. So there you have it. He even has a cool collection of bikes, Stingrays from the 70s, things like that. So just Google Drive and Ivan in any car. Check out my music videos, disc golf videos, literal video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. And definitely check out Guitar Brokers as well down here in uh, the Fort Lauderdale area of Florida. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'm driving Ivan.